Hey guys, Mill here and welcome back to another Fortnite News Rewind. If you do enjoy, drop a like down below guys. Let's go for 1,500 likes on today's video. It would mean a lot. Make sure you subscribe with those notifications on for Fortnite News Daily. I'll keep you up to date with everything you need to know. And if you'd like to support me even further and get a ton of cool exclusive benefits for you guys, you can actually become a channel member. Now all you have to do is hit the join button on the channel or click the link in the description saying become a member. And you can take a read of all of the rewards you get, a green username, emojis, so much cool stuff stuff for only $4.99 a month. It's a great way to support me. Check it out guys. Marcus, Craig, JT, Durr, Elias, Johnny, Pro, Zandi, Suvater and so many more of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me every single month. But without further ado guys, let's get straight into it. All right, so first of all is the item shop. So today, as we all knew, the Stranger Things skins are indeed out. Chief Hopper and the Demogorgon are some insane skins. We also got the Vines wrap. If you picked anything up at all, guys, remember you can use code MERL to support me every time you pick a skin up. And if you do use my code for anything at all, let me know by sending me an image on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, or in the comments. I will thank you personally and try to shout you all out. But let's get into it, guys. So you want to sit back for today's top topics guys not a lot of them but they are all massive ones i'm not even lying they are huge so first of all is today's first topic regarding the monster aka catus as you know he's appeared a couple times i'm not talking about the doggus robot being built at pressure plant i'm talking about the polar peak monster the one that uh escaped he went into the ocean he carries the actual castle on his back he's been spotted a couple of times but we haven't seen him for quite some time but someone on reddit might have actually found the monster's placeholders meaning well he's going to be appearing very very soon so as you see right here thanks to this reddit post right here out at sea quite far out there's actually three kind of block placeholders developers and game companies use these to basically show something is going to be taking place here aka right now what what else would be out at sea the monster that is literally the only thing we can think of and if it's not i'll be very very surprised so it looks as though he's going to be appearing yet again he's been circling the map with this castle on his back but i'm guessing he's going to rise up soon because as well it's coming to the end of season nine and this is just a huge find thank you so much to the reddit user who found it what do you guys think about this i'd love to hear it down below do you think it's a monster moving on stretched res looks to be confirmed coming back and i'm not even lying you guys know i never click bait into anything or lie or anything like but two sources today got some replies from the epic support team basically saying that well stretch res should be coming back in a future update as you see right here i've got a lot of these images from my good friend code life if you'd like to check them out check them out down below but the these images pretty much confirm it. So first of all, as you see right here, I put a Reddit post up saying stretch resolution coming back. I emailed Epic about FOV and motion sickness and they said this. Basically, to sum it up, basically Samuel just kind of said that, you know, he suffers from motion sickness and with 1080p, he feels it massively, you know, and he he didn't back with stretch res and I'm sure a lot of us can relate with this. When you, we were getting used to 1080p again, me personally, I could definitely feel kind of motion sickness. I couldn't play for a lot, maybe an hour max, but a lot of people I, I bet are definitely suffering with it so as you see right here Samuel basically said that and he got an automated response but as a lot of us would probably do he kept on going he kept egging on um and kind of trying to push them more get more real actual responses not just automated ones and lex an epic game support member replied by saying this please note that stretch resolution is currently disabled i understand that the situation you're having i do appreciate your support for fortnite let me explain some things if you're asking to alter the game files we do not recommend you do that and we already know that you're not supposed to uh, edit the game files but making changes to the game files is not advisable because once the system detects it your account may be affected aka banned but we suggest that you wait for the update the update they're not saying wait for an update wait for the update for the custom resolution on pc enabled keep in mind guys that this yet again take this with a grain of salt this could just mean nothing at all but the fact they're saying the update seems to be confirming that there is some plans to at least bring back stretched res. The next source, someone also found who sent me on Twitter said, um, basically someone said, you know, I've been getting motion sickness again. I don't feel too good when I'm playing. And basically another Epic Games support member replied by saying, for competitive modes, I don't think there is any chance that Epic wants to bring, uh, wants the game to be as fair as possible. But maybe for normal modes, it will make a return later. So obviously that one's not really confirming anything. It's just kind of saying, maybe it's gonna happen but keep in mind these are epic employees they know some stuff that we do not so 
What could this mean? Well, this could either mean that we're getting an FOV slider. As you see right here, thanks to Code Life, this is his image, but this is a kind of example, just stretches out. It keeps it in 1080p, but it just stretches out your FOV. Uh, field of vision, if you didn't know. Uh, or we could, yet again, just get the return of stretch res, where we get full capability in game, like CSGO do, where you can literally make your own stretch res no matter what. Like, it's sick. Um, and I think, keep in mind, guys, I think personally, the reason they uh, ban stretch res was because of the World Cup qualifiers, you know? Like, it, in my eyes, that's why they did it. They wanted the, the qualifiers and the World Cup to be fair, and I'm guessing they still want the World Cup to be fair, but maybe after the World Cup's fully finished at the end of this month, there's a chance that, well, stretch res is maybe coming back. As you saw there, the update should be coming afterwards or soon, so... I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Remember, take this with a grain of salt, guys. You know, I'm not here to say like, oh, it's 100% coming back. Don't like blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's a very high chance. Like, an Epic Games support member literally said the update, a stretch res update. So we'll just have to see. What do you guys think? Are you happy or you're not? Let me know down below. And moving on to the final massive topic. So, as you may know, Season 9 is coming to an end. And Season 10 launches on July 24th in 19 days well 18 days from today but hypex managed to find some interesting information about the secret of season 10 so as you know there's rumors that season 10 is going to be a brand new beginning a new map uh just a whole new fresh start and it's going to feel amazing because you know it's the first double digit season it's a big milestone number 10 there's even more proof to show that this is probably going to be a crazy crazy season so first of all hypex said this i'm just throwing this out there season 10 update day is the same day as fortnite battle royale's birthday new beginning new map and i agree with them as you see here this is just the proof in case you don't believe them season 9 ends on night in 19 days that's is 19 days from today july 24th july 24th was when um battle royale was brought into fortnite as you know save the world was here well before battle royale but that's the uh the birth date of of course um of uh battle royale so we could be expecting a big new kind of fresh start. I'm hoping they do, man. This is going to be a great opportunity for Epic to do something like this. But we'll just have to see, guys. What do you think down below? Do you think there's going to be a new map for Season 10 or a new beginning for Season 10? Because I definitely do. And it's interesting that it's going to be releasing on the same date as, of course, the start of Battle Royale was. And the final topic of today is, of course, well, an update on the robots. So it's currently pretty much got its full legs built. Um, we're expecting the new stage, stage five, to begin probably today or tom I'd say tomorrow, definitely tomorrow. Um, but it's get it's going to be huge, guys. Keep in mind, this is literally going to be like so much bigger than like anything we've ever seen in Fortnite. And if these actually come to life at the end of the season, like how insane is this gonna be, yeah. Um, so I just want to show you guys a little update on it. This is the full leg, thank you very much. What do you guys think? The next part that should be getting built, I believe is the other leg getting all finished up. So we'll just have to see you guys. But guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like down below, guys, to show your support. Get the video out there, push it even more, because if we get more and more likes, YouTube pushes a brand new people who've never heard of Mill, so I'd appreciate it so much. Drop a comment as well on your thoughts on today's topics. Use code Mill in the item shop. Check out becoming a member as well, guys. You get It's well worth your money. For $4.99 monthly, you get to support the channel. You get a ton of cool benefits, a custom badge, green username, Discord role, so much cool stuff. Check it out, guys. I also give you exclusive early looks at videos, uh, ideas or anything on an exclusive uh, members only community tab kind of page it's pretty cool check it out guys thank you so much for watching follow me on twitter and instagram join my discord and i will see you all in the next one peace